Um, I've, you know, in, in a lot of cases, um, in the case of the 18-year vet, highly decorated, nine air medals, um, flew support for the military as they were uh, taking Baghdad Air Force um, at Baghdad Airport during the, uh, the initial stages of the invasion. Um, highly decorated, 18 years worth of experience. Two weeks before his, his next deployment, he was told that um, because of don't ask, don't tell, he was being kicked out of the military. It's crazy. Now, obviously, the conspiracy theorists say, well, you know, he had less than two years left before full pension. If he had been deployed for 12 or 18 months, by the time he got back and they processed him, he'd have had his full, his full pension. And they pulled the strings at that point in order to keep him from getting full pension. But that's just uh, one theory. <laughs> and that's evil. Um, if that's what happened, that's pretty evil. But yeah. um, there's lots of other stories of uh, of uh, translators, of um, folks doing uh, folks in the intelligence service, intelligence branches doing uh, you know language specialists that are being kicked out because they're gay. How stupid is that? You know, and that's one of the categories that the military is most hard pressed for. Hmm. That's just nuts. Yeah, it's just. Um just but. sheer stupidity, if you ask me. But we, anyway. we, we are also, to, 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 to give him the, the, the benefit of the doubt, in month five of a four-year presidency. I know. And we want to give him a chance. <laughs> we do. Um, I have very high hopes for this guy. I really do. I have very high hopes. Um, I, you know, I got to tell you, considering the way our economy is and was at the time of the election, <laughs> you got to accept that this guy has some serious guts. <laughs> Who would have wanted that job? But... <laughs> But, you know, good for him. He took it. Yeah, but so. it's, it, it's kind of like pulling out of the Tour de France on the last leg if he hadn't gone through with it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, he, certainly has, uh, he certainly has made, a lot, made uh, an, an attempt to address a wide range of issues yeah. straight out of the gate. And uh, we will bide our time and um, Yeah, I, I, have high, I have very high hopes for this guy, really. Do I think that he's a good guy, and I think he's very, very bright. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy, and um, sometime in the next forty months, we hope to see a gender inclusive Edna on the floor. We will. I'm, yeah, we need this. We need and a lot of things. Oh. <laughs> Frontal lobotomy, maybe. <laughs> Depending on who you, whom you talk to. <laughs> but um, but yeah, anyway. So so it's too bad that uh, Brett didn't get here. Brett, we're gonna <sighs> have to be bothering you about this. Well, but, and uh, and you brought something here that I think we should point out. Oh, that's right. I did bring some stuff from the theater. I, of course, I can't see it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, this thing. This is very cool. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much about the theater because Brett, you have to come down. Uh, we we want Brett on the show to come yes, and talk about. But this. we also want folks to go but, see um, Buddy's Tavern. But yeah, definitely go see this. Um, it's it's getting rave reviews. This um, Buddy's Tavern. But um, and it's uh, it's. Playing through June 14th, I think they do what Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, or at least Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. Yeah, it's very cool, and it's local, it's right in Norwich. But uh, but this this thing was very interesting. Um, I mean, the, the tickets are relatively inexpensive, but this was a uh, really wonderful deal. They have this um, this um, combination. You get um, I don't want to try to sell. I'm not selling anything <laughs> here. I'm just telling you this. This sounded like a great deal to me. This is um, you get a, a deal you get with the spot Norwich. Right. You get dinner, very nice dinner, three course dinner, and um, and tickets to the play for fifty four bucks. Yeah. It's like wow, what a deal. Um, the Inn at Norwich is. I I have actually never been there, but I've been told that it's really nice. Um, but uh, but by all means, you know, and Brett. Get your ass down here. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is a very cool theater, and uh, local theater is certainly something that we should support. Absolutely. And, well, yeah, as you said, he'll be on. He'll talk about it as well. But um, very, very, very neat place. Uh, very intimate. I think it was 70, 75 or 76 seat shadow box theater. Yeah. Um, all professionally done. Um, they have an orchestra behind, live orchestra behind stage for the shows. And... Um, Really impressive, as as you were saying, when the New London People's Forum invited us there for the little meet and greet, he opened the theater up, and we got to go everywhere we could go. Yeah, uh, climbing ladders. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was really climbing cool. up into the control booth and and checking out all the, uh, the the video and audio switching equipment and lighting controls and 
backstage props and everything, yeah. Yeah, cool place. Audio and video equipment. Talking about audio and video equipment, <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent here. It's like, God, does anybody know out there know how to make a, a video editor work? <laughs> I, I'm having this problem with, with video editing, editing software. Um, you wouldn't think it would be difficult. You know, you can put stuff to, I, I'm not going to get long with it. <laughs> you put all this stuff together, and the, the um, editor is supposed to make it work, so then you send it to a disk and you can play it, right? No. It, it does everything perfect, and then when you send it to the disk, you wind up with audio and video out of sync. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway. I'm ranting. I'm, no, I'm pulling I, my hair out with with, with editing on, on computer <laughs> video I, editing. I, I, I understand the pain. Um, <laughs> well, you're an IT person. You, <laughs> yeah, you, well, you, and, you and, feel this pain all the time, and I'm sure. AV stuff is something I always tinkered with growing up and uh, in, the, in the early days before they had um, nice, sophisticated, expensive graphical interfaces to do this stuff for you. You literally would. You'd split the video and audio streams out of an existing movie, do your individual conversions, and then try to mesh them back up. Right. And, oh yeah, it... <laughs> Some of the tools then, even when, when, when they did automatic time sequencing to try and match things up, if, if they weren't, obviously, if they weren't at the same rate, um, the video would just sort of freeze for a few seconds at a time while the audio track kept playing. <laughs> because, you know, one's, one, you know, one's recorded at uh, 24... Um, you know, frames per second essentially, and the other one's at 29.97. And so, yeah, every few seconds there's a hiccup in the video. Yeah. Or, yeah, it's the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait or, a minute. Or you get one of the old kung fu movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where the lips are moving and the words don't match. It drives me crazy, though. It drives me, I, 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 I'm going off on tension, but it drives me crazy, that kind of thing. It's like, it's like spend all sorts of money on fancy video editing equipment. And, and you know what, the, basically when you're, you're editing, um, they got all this equipment right here, They're in the room in fact. You know, you're editing with tapes and stuff. I mean, they have, um, I think it's a time-based corrector that, that you know, syncs stuff and that or, um, manipulates the, the, um, the track so that you can put them together. But, um, but you would think with a video editing software package that, you know, something you pay lots of money for, that they would have thought of that. Do but, you, you know, you go online. I went online. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I went online and, and I found that, oh, gee, there's a million people out there all having the same problem. <laughs> it's like, what's so, this mean? Some of the really expensive software will do um, time sequencing of your various pieces. Um, but, at, you know, a lot of the average stuff, the software tries to be almost too user friendly. Make it, you know, oh, just click here and click here and click here. And it's like, but I want to do something a little more advanced than just paste my home movie onto a website. Right. So. And those advanced things are things that they have in their software to do. It's like, well, okay. I guess nobody ever used this one before. <laughs> oh, well. It's, but, be, it's beginner and it's very advanced and there's nothing in between. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop <laughs> ranting. I will stop ranting now about video editing software. Well, we can move on to the uh, schedule of Pride events throughout the region. Oh, right, right, we pulled right. this out of Metroline. Um, it's a much more consolidated list than what I've tried to read in the past. Um, the first one on the list is June 6th, a week and a half away.